I said, what's up, y'all? Look at me when I'm talking to you, bro. Nah, I'm just messing with y'all, man. This your boy, Knockout Boxing 86 TV, and we in here. So check this out, bro. Before we get going on our video, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new here, share the video, turn on your notifications, and don't forget we live Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday night, 7.30 p.m. Central Time. You can also catch us live every Sunday morning with the Singing OG KQKC Boxing Network, Sunday mornings, 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. And please, um, what's up, thing, bro? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Drop super chats and super thanks when you come by the live streams and the videos. And please accept my invitation to become a member to the channel and join the channel. We drop exclusive content for our channel members that they get first um, rights to. So please do that, man, if you're interested in checking that out, bro, and helping support the channel. More support we have coming in, more time I get to spend dropping content for y'all. And also the TKO Debate Series is back on and popping. So anybody want smoke with anybody, let me know. If you want smoke with me, yes. I debate anyone, anytime. Y'all know I'm the king of this shit. I really do this. So holler at me if you want to debate me. Um, knockoutbox 86 at yahoo.com is the email. But let's get it cracking, bro. Fight prediction time, man. We working this week. This one, we got Henry LeBron versus Carlos Ramos. 10-round, 130-pound fight. Henry LeBron, 25-year-old southpaw fighter. 5'6", with a 68-inch arm reach out of Puerto Rico. 17 wins, no losses. 10 wins away a knockout. Then we got Carlos Ramos, southpaw fighter, 27 years old, out of Spain. He, too, is 5'5". Five five. Well, no, he's 5'5". Five five. Him and LeBron is 5'6". 17 wins, 2 losses, with 10 wins by way of knockout. Look, man, um, these fighters fight similarly. I mean, Carlos Ramos, hands down, trying to um, box with you, um, trying to land that straight left hand because he is a, um, he's a southpaw fighter. Jab is all right. Um, you hear me say this about certain fighters, bro. Like, when you watch athletic fighters fight with quick reflexes that are good counter punches, that have naturally good timing, that have good feet, that can move laterally across the ring good. When you watch them fight, bro, you're like, oh, I understand why you may fight with your hands down. You inviting some shit in because you believe in your speed. You inviting some shit in because you believe in your counter punching ability. You inviting some shit in because you believe in your ability to move. You believe in your time. Then it's other fighters that I watch fight with their hands down. I'm like, bro, you you should be focused on fundamentals if you want any shot in this game. Carlos Ramos is one of those fighters. The record looks good, but the competition that he has fought and the way that he, that he lacks speed, he lacks, and I ain't just talking about hand speed, foot speed, the ability to move laterally, the fact that you can see his punches coming from a mile away, the same repetitive Jab, try to step my way in with the oh my bad, y'all. Try to step my way in. I really stepped. <laughs> try to step my way in with the jab, step my way in with the jab. Then I'm gonna try to land a straight left hand. Like everything he does is so predictable. He he doesn't have the making of a fighter that should be doing anything, any shortcuts, any things that more gifted fighters get away with, like keeping your hands down and shit. He shouldn't be doing that, but he do it anyway. Henry LeBron, on the other hand, he kind of has his lead hand low as well. But his jab is nice. He has good timing. He's a better counter puncher than um than, than Ramos. He moves around the ring better than Ramos. Um, he has power behind his shots. Um, but both fighters are not comfortable moving forward, um, taking the front foot. And I think this is this is why Top Rank gets a lot of kudos from me with their matchmaking. This is a fighter. You don't want to take any fight for granted. But this is a fight that I think Henry LeBron can work on some things. So in this fight, I think he's far more skilled. I think he's the better fighter. I think he's going to win this fight. But I'd like to see him do it from the front foot. Show us that you can be the aggressor. Don't always try to look to let someone lead. This is the style of fighter that if Henry LeBron tries to take the back foot, he'll win the fight. But he's not going to look impressive doing it. It's going to be hard to get off on this guy because they fight so similarly. Hands down. You know what I'm saying? A lot of posturing going on and all that shit. This somebody who you should be able to take advantage of that's fighting like he got tools that he don't got. So you put your high guard up, you walk to his ass, and you lead the action. You show that you not that you can fight more than one way, and I think that's what Top Rank is trying to get out of him. And I think he'll be able to do that to some relatively some relative success, but I've never seen him be comfortable doing that, so I'm not picking the stoppage in this one. I think it's going to be a good, solid Unanimous decision victory for Henry, Henry LeBron. If he gets the stoppage, looks impressive doing it, takes that front foot, shows more versatility to his game than just being a back-footed counter-punching uh, counter boxer with some power 
then I'm going to be impressed by him. But he, I'm definitely going to be tuned in to this fight because the homie Kano Loco, you know what I'm saying? I like to tune in to all his people um, that he like and, and, and kind of support his Puerto Rican fighters because we support Kano Loco, man. So, you know, it is what it is, man. Henry LeBron, my pick in this one, unanimous decision. If he gets a stoppage, I won't be surprised. But I think the way that this guy Ramos fights with his hands down, posturing, looking to survive, tying you up on the inside, um, I think, it, you know, it's going to make for for not the more um, – eye-pleasing, crowd-pleasing fight, but I think Henry LeBron gets through it just fine, so that's my pick, unanimous decision. Y'all stay tuned for the next one, man. See y'all soon. Peace out.